Hey guys, BrickWizard59 here and welcome back to a brand new video. And today we have an analysis on the LEGO Star Wars 2019 Winter Sets list. So the Winter 2019 sets were um, just kind of the list was revealed. So in this video we're going to do a complete analysis on all these sets in the wave. Uh, so I'll kind of be giving you my thoughts on them. But anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so first off, we know LEGO is going to release four microfighters. Again, I have no interest in microfighters really in general. Hopefully there's some new Clone Wars villains or some kind of new exclusive figures with them. Maybe they re-release the Episode 3 clone, who knows. But again, I don't have too much interest in microfighters. I think it'll be pretty interesting and hopefully I hope that they are more Clone Wars related sets. Alright, so the first set we have here is the Elite Praetorian Guard Battle Pack. And this set's going to retail for $15. So overall, this is a bit of an interesting choice um, of a set to make, just because of the fact that, like the Emperor's Royal Guards, the Victorian Guards, they're a figure that really, it's you don't need a ton of. It's like kind of a special group of figs that you really don't need to get a full army of, and uh, it's like the Emperor's Royal Guard. So it's kind of an interesting choice to have in a battle pack. Uh, but again, I'm interested to see how this goes. Uh, Lego's recently been making a lot more battle packs of figs that maybe aren't um, are more specific figs and not really as many army builders. So again, I'm interested to see uh, how this battle pack turns out. I know for a fact that there'll probably be about two to three Praetorian guards. Um, but anyways, there's a look at the Praetorian guard battle pack. All right, and moving along, we have the clone trooper battle pack. Now this is something I'm super excited about because we are hopefully getting a true clone trooper battle pack. So uh, this, we don't know if it has 501st troopers or just regular clones, um, but either one of them would be terrific. We need a true phase two clone trooper battle pack and hopefully this will deliver. There were rumors earlier that it'd be a 501st trooper battle pack with specific figures like Rex and Fives. But that's probably not going to be the case. I feel like it's going to be either a 501st Trooper Battle Pack with actual 501st Clones or a Clone Battle Pack. So this is something super exciting. I'm really, really excited about this one. And this will definitely, hopefully, if they do it right, sell really well. But there's the Clone Trooper Battle Pack. All right, so the next set is the Droid Gunship. Now, this is a bit of an interesting choice. The last time we got a droid gunship was back in 2014, and that was kind of related to Kashyyyk theme. This one, I feel, is not going to be Kashyyyk themed. It's going to be more of a Clone Wars or just like a regular clone theme. I feel like uh, this is, again, an interesting choice. I kind of wish maybe they could have included a different vehicle, something they haven't made, like a tri-droid or even a new AAT, because the droid gunship is something that's not seen too much in isn't really that common and that interesting so in that case i'm kind of like disappointed by the set i really wish they would have included something kind of new and different plus it's only been a few years since the last one so it's a bit of early to re-release this set uh, but again i think it'll be interesting hopefully it includes uh, more droids rather than clones and droids that's kind of my thoughts on that so there is a droid gunship a set that's interesting but at the same time i wish there was something maybe different uh, released instead all right, and the next set here is the ATAP. Now, this is also super surprising because we got ATT, ATAP back in 2014 as well. So it's an interesting choice. I wish they could have instead released maybe an ATAT or in terms of Clone Wars sets, maybe a new ATTE. I think that would have been better than an ATAP because that's a vehicle that's not just not too popular. Again, I don't think it's going to be a chic themed. It's probably going to include regular, regular clones. Uh, which I'm, again, I'm fine with as long as they have a decent minifigure selection. Um, but again, I feel like there's, the 2014 one was so good, there's not much they can change on this one. So I'm kind of interested to see the route they go with this build. But uh, again, I wish it was some sort of different vehicle uh, rather than just re-releasing one that was uh, out a few years ago. All right, and these next three sets are said to be junior sets. So that is super interesting. Lego is going with kind of like a junior theme for um, Star Wars. They did that with um, 
superheroes. He did that with Incredibles 2, even Jurassic Park. So this is an interesting move, and I think it's one that will actually do pretty well. I personally don't really, uh, some people like this kind of theme, some people don't. I personally do not care. The ships are going to be kind of those dumbed down, not as detailed ships, which I'm, I'm okay with. Um, but overall, this is going to be a interesting kind of theme. So first off, you have the X-Wing. Again, I'm probably not going to get these junior sets because all of these really probably won't have any exclusive minifigures or anything. So again, I'm just interested to see the route they go. So first, we got the X-Wing. I think it'll be a cool set. Uh, we'll have to see. The second set is a TIE Fighter. So again, they're releasing more of these kind of classic ships, which I'm, I'm totally fine with. So second is a TIE Fighter, which again, I think will be all right. Uh, it'll be one of those smaller scaled ones. It'll be pretty straightforward. So again, this is also something I'm interested to see and in how it turns out. And the third set is the A-Wing. So again, uh, this also will be pretty cool. This actually probably might be closer to a actual Lego set variant um, in terms of size, so it might be a tinier uh, A-Wing. But again, overall this theme looks interesting. I'm definitely interested to see where they go. Maybe they release more Clone Wars related to junior sets or something else with more cooler minifigures so that it's a cheaper way to get them. Uh, but again, I'm pretty interested to see how this theme turns out. But anyways, those are the three junior sets. All right, and then here are a few other sets. Uh, the first one, the Great Vehicle Escape. No idea what that is, but it's a set that we sadly do not know where that's from. I, I can't really think of anything. And then we have four unknown sets. I'm hoping that's something related to the Clone Wars. Uh, so it's like, in, it's like, because usually when you have these unknown sets, they're usually the ones that are kind of classified in, in terms of like, when the new Star Wars movies come out, they classify those sets such that you can't really give away any plot details. So, But because there's no movie in Solo already had its two waves, I'm interested to see what these sets are. And I'm really thinking these are going to be some Clone Wars sets. So that's going to be super exciting. Hopefully a gunship, a bad bat ship, stuff like that. Who knows? We'll see. But again, those are looking at a few of the other sets. Alright, so anyways, there you go. So those were a look at all the, the lists of the LEGO Star Wars 2019 Winter Set images. Now again, these aren't um, completely certain. Uh, these are definitely somewhat of rumors. But still, uh, I'm definitely thinking in the past with these lists, they've turned out to be pretty accurate. So overall, this wave is not too bad. Uh, I'm liking we're getting more uh, Clone Wars and prequel trilogy sets. That's awesome. Uh, again, the Clone Battle Pack is probably what I'm most excited about. Praetorian 1 looks interesting, so we'll have to look at that. And then even the two ATAP droid gunship, they're not too bad, but I wish they were probably uh, some other vehicle that we still haven't got. Um, but there you go. All right, but anyways, there you go. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, a thumbs up would be great. And do not forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos coming very soon. But anyways, tell me your guys' thoughts down in the comments below. This is Brick Wizard 59 and I'll see you all next time.